Hello, my name is Alan Foon, and today is the second part of my primer on oil and gas economics, where I'm going to talk about expected monetary value. In the previous part, we defined uh, net present value, so that's this chart here with the cash flows. And now we're going to look at this part here with the decision trees. Now, how do you account for multiple scenarios? Now, a lot of things can happen, and you would tend to estimate several different scenarios, which is represent what could potentially happen. So here we have scenario one. Scenario 2, Scenario 3, and Scenario 4. Now, each one of these scenarios would have a value. Could be positive, could be negative. So if you have a dry hole, you obviously have a negative value. If you have a success case, you should hopefully have a positive value. And each one of them would also have a probability. So EMV is a way of estimating the value of a situation with several possible scenarios. Now, again, you're looking forward. And each scenario has a monetary value and a probability of happening. So the EMV is basically the sum of all of these values multiplied by their prob respective probabilities. So EMV equals P1 multiplied by V1 plus P2 multiplied by V2 plus P3 multiplied by P, uh, V3 in a three scenario situation. Now the values of the MPV in each particular net present value of each particular scenario can either be positive or negative. So the key is to find out what is the value going forward? Is this a decision that you're expecting to have a successful result? Now expect doesn't mean guarantee, because you could be on the failure branch, but success branch will hopefully outweigh the failure branch and you will have a positive value. So back to Albonia. Now we defined this uh, in our, my last talk, which was talking about uh, NPVs. So in this particular case, we have a low case NPV of 103 million, uh, once the field has been discovered, a mid case NPV of 261 million, and a high case NPV of 551 million. Our geologists estimate the chance of success of 35%. Our exploration well costs $50 million, and appraisal wells also cost $50 million. In the case of a success scenario, we will drill one appraisal well, which will then be followed by a second if we are in a higher medium case scenario. So the first appraisal well will tell us if we're in the low case or not. Second well will tell us if we're in a high case or the medium case. Obviously, we're in the low case. We're not going to drill the appraisal well because we're in a, we know we're in the low case. So if you look at a simple scenario, which is basically success or failure, so we take the mid case in this particular case. So the value of the success is $261 million minus the cost of the exploration well, $50 million, minus the cost of the appraisal well. So that gives us a value of $161 million at the moment. And the cost of a dry hole is $50 million. Our chance of success is estimated at 35%. So if we're on a success branch of a tree, which has a 35% chance of happening, we have $161 million, which is the value of the success, multiplied by 35%, gives us 56.35 million plus. Sounds good. If we go in the dry hole case, probability is 1 minus the chance of success, which is 65%, which is more likely than having a discovery we have a value of minus 50, which is the cost of the dry hole, times 0.65, the chance of that happening, is minus 32.55. If you add the two of them together, you get an expected monetary value of 23.85. That sounds pretty good. Yeah, I'll take that. Because your successes will outweigh your losses if success happens. Doesn't guarantee that you're gonna have success. But what happens when you take variable scenarios into account? So what we do here is we use Swanson's approximation, which is 30, 40, 30. So 30% 30 chance of the high case happening, 40% chance of the mid case, 30% chance of the low case. And that represents the variability of potential uh, value and potential reserves that the field might have if it becomes successful. And there's a 35% chance of getting onto that success branch. We've also got a 65% chance of getting onto the failure branch, hence the dry hole. And these are the respective values. So the value of the low case, uh, which is uh, one exploration well, one appraisal well, is uh, three um, is only three million dollars. So it becomes fairly marginal if we're in the low case. Value of the mid case is 161, as we had before, and value of the high case is uh, 401. And the loss and dry coal case is uh, is minus 50. So when we multiply all that out we get uh, 0.32 for the base case uh, for the low case 22.54 for the mid case 42.09 for the for the high case 
and then minus 32 for the dry hole. And when you sum all of that up, you get a expected monetary value of 32.46, which is higher than single case because it's skewed by the uh, by the high case, which is uh, which is actually very valuable. So what you might want to try to do is do more geological work to see how likely you really are to be on the high case before you drill your well. Okay, sounds fairly good. But what happens if we vary the chance of success? So if we look at the chance of success here, uh, that's the value of uh, 0.3, a uh, value of um, the base case. Then you've got, um, if you take the value cost down to 0.2, you get a negative value. So you have to have some fairly negative indicators on geology, considering the average cost uh, chance success in the play is uh, 0.35, for it not to um, for it to be not worth drilling. 0.25 still get a positive NPV uh, EMV. 0.3 get a positive EMV, and 0.4 you get a very large positive EMV. So again, try to polarize your risk is quite important because it saves you from drilling a likely dry hole and increases your expected monetary value. And I have a video on using Bayes' theorem for, for that uh, on my channel. If you vary the well costs, again, if you have a dry hole cost of uh, 50, you have a uh, value of 32. If you have a cheaper dry hole cost, so you try to reduce your cost of your exploration well uh, to test the prospect uh, in a more cheap way, you get a significant increase in, uh, in EMV. If you have a more expensive well, uh, for your exploration well, either because rate costs go up or because you could do extra data gathering, you have a higher cost. And at seventy million dollars for the exploration well, which is which is high but not unknown, uh, you will have a negative EMV because it'll cost you more to test it uh, on the balance of probabilities than it's, uh, it's worth having. So this gives you a basic overview of uh, expected monetary values, which is a key tool in exploration uh, to try to figure out to try to make the right decisions. Now. Uh, obviously, for non-economists, it's important to understand these concepts, so you can have a, a uh, conversation with your economic analysts to be able to make better decisions. Now, some people do try to game the system, and robust technical audit can try to stop some of that, because things like chance of success are subjective. Some of the costs can be as well. Um, different co-venturers may have different hurdle rates. Uh, uh, that applies to EMV as well. And inputs uh, on CapEx, OPEX, etc. production profiles that we saw in MPV are subjective and can be, um, again, looked at. Price sensitivity is the greatest impact. And again, uh, that's the case here uh, on EMV because that's the, where your values come from. So thank you very much. Please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.